Hi, I'm Molly. I'm your SOS guide, and that's Violet right there. She's sleeping. And we're going to teach you um, a diaphragmatic breath, a belly breath that can really help with stress and anxiety, depression, and there's so many other benefits. Um, what I have found is that when we change the way we breathe, that everything changes, really. Um, it's, it's such an important important practice and something we can do well we do all day but we can mindfully um, with intention do many times a day when we can remember it um, and uh, support each other in remembering that to take deep breaths and um, uh, to breathe intentionally in different ways to help us open to different parts of ourselves and also to work with the stress and trauma that uh, so many people are, are going through directly and everybody I think is feeling um, in the collective. So first of all, find a comfortable place to s sit. And if you need to pause this, go ahead and do that. And you want to have um, your feet on the floor if it's possible. You might be a cross-legged sitter. There's no right way to do it. Uh, the thing I really care about is actually just if you can... Um, try to find a way to sit with the spine as straight as possible. And again, it, it's, well, not again, but it's not rigid. It's sort of a balance between alertness and relaxation is, is how you want to approach this. Um, so that's, that's the really important thing. So pause this if you need to do that. And um, the next thing I'd like you to do is go ahead and bring your left hand on to your upper chest and your right hand just right above your belly button. It's the right hand that's going to be moving back and forth as we focus our breathing. So we're going to breathe through the nose if possible. If you can't, that's okay and you can bury that. But if you can, we're just going to go ahead and take an inhale through the nose and the belly comes out and the exhale, the belly comes in all the way towards the spine. So inhale, belly comes out. Exhale, the belly comes in. So the left hand is actually not moving very much at all. And inhale, the belly comes out. And exhale, the belly comes in. So what we're going to do is see if we can get in the, get familiar with this for a few breaths. And then you're going to start experimenting with lengthening the exhale. So sometimes I count, inhale three, and you could exhale for four or five. If that's not the right number or the right pace, go ahead and vary it for yourself. can take a little bit of time to get used to what it feels like to really let the belly fall open forward, filling with air like a balloon, and exhale as it comes in towards the spine, pushing out all the air. So you might want to close your eyes. We're going to do this for two minutes, and sometimes people get a little lightheaded and you can always pause or make it a little bit less and again experimenting with making the exhale longer than the inhale so find find a count that works for you Sometimes I add just the sense of breathing in kindness. Or you might be a person who sees things, so seeing light as you breathe in. Or love. Or a color that feels healing to you. Violet color or golden light and 
Again, breathing through the nose, if possible, exhaling through the nose, if possible. Lengthening the exhale a little bit longer as you breathe. Inhaling into the belly, exhaling from the belly. We're going to go ahead and complete and I'd like you to experiment with this if you can once a day. I'll be putting up different breathing practices as we go um, and just find the ones that work for you and that feel feel good for you and, and feel like there's benefit. Um, so again it may take a little while to get used to this at all if you're not used to it um, and there's many, many different kinds of breathing practices and um, they are incredibly helpful and beneficial. So um, again, I'm Molly and thank you for being with me and we got this world. We do.